Happy Flosstube Friday! My name is Carrie. This is Tiger Lily Designs. Welcome to Flosstube episode number 27. We're in my new studio. Are you excited? Because I'm super excited. It was, took me all I could do to get the fabric wall up behind me. If you could see the show that is surrounding me, maybe I'll put a little clip so a little behind the curtain, real life. Um, the video camera is propped up on three different boxes on a tripod. But the fabric wall's done. Yay! Um, I am so happy to be back. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my channel is mainly uh, about cross stitch and quilting and fun and sewing room and studios and DIY and instructions and tutorials and all the things. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for coming back. Today is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit of a catch up. I know I've missed you guys. I skipped a week because life was crazy, but I am finally unpacking boxes and getting settled into our new home. So I just going to dive right into the stitching because that's always a little fun. I'll do a little life update at the end, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, maybe you haven't seen the news. So excited. Tiger Lily was chosen. I was honored to be chosen as an Artifil artisan for 2022-23. So exciting. Oh my gosh. But so I waited to do an unboxing with you guys to show you the welcome kit they send as, a, as an artisan. I thought you might get a kick out of seeing what we get and what we're going to do with it. But like I said, we're going to dive into the stitching first because that's fun. Now, if you're Returning, you know, my mania kind of exploded because of, you know, life. But we did have some mania before I just had to let it go. Um, I have five manias that we did that had daily giveaways. Now, if you remember, I will, like I told you guys, spring and summer, we were able to get done. Yay. Um, and so those are the winners that I have pulled today. So if you've watched those videos and you entered to win, stay tuned. I'm going to be announcing the PDF winners for those video giveaways. We've also got, so fall, I'm going to be starting not today. I was going to start today, but I want to give it its own due. Those, those featured designers, I promised them a featured daily day, daily designer day. I want to give them that. It's not going to be this week. Probably won't be next week, um, but it's coming. Fall is coming. Plenty of time. It's only June something, um, but I have the announce the winners for summer and spring, so that's exciting. Fall is coming, um, so let's just dive right in. So, of course, you know, like I said, the table's not set up yet. So I've got this stuff propped up on a stool right here next to me. So let's just dig in, show you some of the things. So if you remember the first one, I don't, most of these I think I can show you. If they've got a cover photo, I will for sure just refresh. So this was May Basket. This is Cosford Rise Stitchery, and she has subsequently um, released her June basket, which is adorable. It's got this um, area for a flag. So she's in the UK, so of course it has a UK flag, but she has other flag options too. Super cute basket. Go check it out. Again, she's an Etsy designer. I will link all these designers down below. But um, that was that pattern. Uh, this one didn't get any more stitching from the initial stitch, but let me just show you. I did this on a 14 count natural Ada. Here's my Tiger Lily project card. Yeah, so these are coming on the website soon. I'll give you a shop update at the end as well, just um, in case that's of interest to you. So I have pulled the winner and the winner for this one glasses needed Whitney lab so Whitney so if you're a winner um, make sure that you my contact information is down below send me an email saying hi my name is enter name here and I won day number whatever and I will connect you with the Etsy designer because again these are PDF pattern winnings that are donated by the featured designer of the day. I am not forwarding the PDF pattern. I, I don't play in the middle, but I do connect you with the designer so she can she or he, they can send you um, the, your pattern winning. So that way it's all above board and we're good to go. 
So Whitney, that you won the May basket from Cause for Rise. Uh, super cute pattern, congratulations. Now, day number two, let's look. So day number two was salt and pepper stitching. Unfortunately, I did not bring my iPad in and her pattern doesn't have a cover sheet. Um, I will see if I can insert a picture right here to show you guys what this pattern wanted is, was Faze Fancy Flowers. She actually had two different ones that were Peppa's Garden one. Um, should have gone into my summer week, but it exploded. So we just got Faze Fancy Flowers. And if you remember, this was my sweet little start on Picture This Plus Tyco. Super sweet, such a cute little pattern. Hopefully I was able to insert a picture to show you guys that pattern since um, I don't have a cover sheet to share. But I've got a winner for that one. And the winner is Cam. Congratulations, Cam, contact me. And I will connect you with Emily over at Salt and Pepper Stitching. Day number three. Oh my gosh, this was super sweet. So this has gotten a little bit more stitching time on it um, because I, I wanted to pick it up. I was hopeful I'm gonna get it stitched up here and in the dough bowl on, on the front entryway soon. So this is Home Stitchness, sweet little berries in a basket. And if you remember, she's got a couple of these little baskety type vignettes, sweet little size pattern. It's only, only. 63 by 71 stitches up real for the size and for the amount of colors. It's, it's stitching up pretty quickly. I ran out of the colors. I talked about this guys in line. Well, that's just lost too. I showed you guys, I kind of packed up the basket. So I was real close. Um, yeah, so I'll have to work on the, I can see the reflection. I have a window. Yay, my studio has natural windows now. So there's a window right there, but the, it's reflecting. Um, anyway, we'll work it. It's a work in progress, work in progress. But this is a sweet little pattern. And we've got a winner for that. Let me put this back in my fantastic, oh, something just fell on the floor. And I think that was our winner. That. So our winner is Kara Thompson. Congratulations, Kara. So just contact me and you won the PDF for that daily giveaway. We've got two more. Um, this one is an Etsy shop called The French Giraffe. Uh, love Deborah's stuff. She's got the sweet Santas from all over the countries. So if you're getting ready for Jolly July and you're looking for some Santa cute ornaments to stitch up, check out her shop, super cute. Um, I stitched the Ireland one back in December, love it. Um, this B one did get a little bit more love because it was, uh, handy and I had the colors. Uh, she stitched it, it's charted on black. I didn't put it on black fabric. I put it again on a 14 count oatmeal, natural Ada. So that way I was able to make the bees black. I did a little custom conversion for you. Um, you know, I, if you want more details, you can go back to the Stitch Mania day of the day of the designer of the day to get more details on it. But Deborah had, you know, four sweet coordinating patterns that were bee themed, all the rage. They were super adorable. Um, so I'm working on that one, but I've got the winner for today for the bee pattern. I'm pretty sure Deborah's gonna let you choose which of the four bees you want. Um, I chose Queen Bee, but the winner is Karen Pelham. Congratulations, Karen. You won that pattern, so just reach out to me and I'll connect you with Deborah. And the last but not least for the summer week is the Spooky and Steve Popsicles. I'm pretty sure there's a cover sheet. Yes, there is. So sweet, love this. I mean, these popsicles just make me think of summer. Those bomb pops, that's what we call them. Um, and then the flags and the stars, so sweet. This was the perfect stitch um, when I was sitting there watching the movers move because it was all filling. Now, Hot Mess Express, as you can see, I talked about how I kind of preload some of my fill in. So that way I don't even have to think about it when I'm, I know that I was just going to be sitting there watching movers carry heavy furniture. So this one's coming along. I got, you know, some great stitching in, still more to do, but that's okay. It's only June. Hopefully that one will get stitched up here quickly, but I've got the winner and the winner is Marilyn Brandenburg. Congratulations, Marilyn. 
you're the winner for that video or for, for that PDF for that video of the day. So that is what I stitched on. I didn't stitch on, I might have gotten a few stitches in on Mary, yes, but not enough for me to bring her out and show you to her again. Hopefully um, next week I'll be able to get more stitching in. Uh, I'm going to start planning and, and working out when we're going to do the featured fall mania. The redo of fall week during mania is coming. I'm excited. But this week um, is mainly about setting up my new studio. No. So if, if you haven't followed along, let me just give you a little bit of a recap. I lived in Percival, Virginia, um, out in Loudoun County. My daughter is graduating high school next week. And so uh, it was time for me to, I could leave the area that she was going to school in. And so now Patrick and I live together in Mount Vernon. So Mount Vernon, the actual George Washington beautiful home is only 0.7 miles that way down the road. I haven't had a chance to ride my bike, but there is a bike trail right there. I love it. And it'll take you right along the Potomac River. I, I, once free time is I have some again that I'm going to start enjoying that. Hopefully, you know, I have to do it early in the morning because it gets super hot, but um, I'm super excited and I'm setting up my studio and I've been showing you guys little sneak peeks here or there of like the before and after. So I'll put in some clips here. So what, you know, my studio space is two rooms now versus one. It's about the same dimensions as my old room, but it's got three windows. So it's fantastic. I had the flooring it, uh, when we bought the house, there was flooring in the stu carpet in the studio. And that was one thing where I've always had carpet in my studio and it was time for me to not step on pins that were stuck in carpet anymore. And so before we moved in, we had um, laminate, you know, the hardwood faux laminate stuff put down on the floor. It's fantastic. Um, my Ikea fabric wall. So these are Ikea Billy bookcases. These came from my old studio. And so I've got five of those, the three behind me. And then there's two other places in the wall. Today, um, after I film this video, maybe before I, after I get it up, I'm not quite sure the order in which things are going to happen. I'm taking a road trip to Ikea. It's not that far. It's only like 30 minutes away. Who knew? But um, I'm going to play around with Ikea and see. I'm going to get a built-in desk. I've got an island, a, a, a cutting table island, but I'm looking for some storage underneath it rather than it just being on four legs. At the old house, it was just basically a fantastic tabletop. Um, if you want to watch my studio tour, you can see it was a fantastic like four of those 24 by 36 cutting mats on a tabletop with four legs. Perfect. Except for now, I want to make it better. And so I'm thinking it needs some storage underneath. So I'm going to get creative, whether it's kitchen cabinets or desk modules or a dresser that we kind of finagle into something. I'm not quite sure. I'll definitely bring you guys along as we turn this plywood tabletop that I have that is perfect for these four cutting mats into a island on wheels. Mm -hmm. It's going to be exciting. Um, so there's going to be a new island on wheels in my studio. Uh, we'll see when that comes. And then my desk wall. But yesterday, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I showed you. Let me show you a little clip right here. Um, we went to the restore. So ideally, I wanted to find some way to repurpose like kitchen cabinets or dressers, like I've said, for under this island on wheels. Um, whether built-ins, like I've done in Lily's room. I talked about it during Mania. We, we went to the restore and got these built-ins and made basically a built-in desk. That is what I want. Except the problem with the restore consignment furniture shop is that it's a hit or miss. You, you can luck into it, I was hopeful I was going to luck into like exactly what I wanted. You know, I want drawers. I don't want doors. I have enough shelves and doors with my IKEA bookcases. I need drawers. Like right now I'm staring at a sea of buckets and boxes that came out that need drawer organization. They can't go, sure I could put them in bit drawers. So I was hopeful. So we went to the restore yesterday here locally trying to see what we could, I could get creative. I'm all about DIY, kind of twisting things around and giving them new purpose, not just fabric, furniture as well. But alas, the kitchen cabinets that were there were already sold. There was not a, the dress, there, it's, there wasn't there. And so I could wait and just go again next week 
and I thought about it and, and, and maybe I will, we'll see. But I am now going to go and check out Ikea just to see if there's something that will work for me now so I can set up my studio and get to studioing. Um, we'll see. Uh, I'm, I'll let you know what, what, where we land on this Island of Wheels maneuvering something or whether we're going to wait and find the perfect fit. But while I was at the ReStore, what did I find? We're walking through the aisles and we're seeing like, here's a dresser, here's a this. And I'm like, this is a sewing cabinet. Yeah, this is a vintage. And of course, it's one of those ones that folds up, right? So it opens up like this. And then it opens up like this, right? With doors in the front and doors on the top and inside. Okay, so I've looked. My sewing machine at my old house just sat on the top of a tabletop, right? Do desk sewing machine. That's, you know, the stand, not standard, that, that's the, right. I've looked at one of those tables where you, your sewing machine gets inset into, that's a sewing cabinet. It's made for a sewing machine. So it gets inset. So then you're sewing at the right height and you have a larger surface than just the neck of your sewing machine. Well, the new ones that you buy like that out of the box were bonkers. Like, nope, budget buster, not gonna happen. So instead I was like, okay, well, you know, we were gonna try to bolts and things and we're, we're gonna do it because I want that like perfect height sewing height. But yesterday we found the golden ticket. <laughs> It was a sewing cabinet. I haven't figured out the date or whatever. It's actually still in the back of my car. Um, but it has an electric motor. Of course, we had to test it to make sure it worked, but it did. And it goes, ee, ee. oh my gosh, it was so exciting. I know. Who gets excited about a sewing cabinet? Me. Um, and if you're like, if you're a stitcher and you don't sew, you're like, really? I'm here for cross stitch. Sorry, sorry. It's a little studio fun setup. So, um, anywho. Lots of fun happening. I'm hoping to bring you guys along. I'm trying to get back to the reg regular routine, Friday floss tubes. Maybe I'll sneak in some of these island floating table things, videos. I don't know, but we're here for some fun. So I've got that studio. Let me just give you a little shop update. I feel like I'm all over the place. I don't have a list. I don't have an agenda. This is kind of what happens. Um, so I am going to come back. Like I said, I'm going to try to come back for every Floss Tube Fridays. Hopefully are back on schedule. So that's exciting. Um, the Art of Phil, I told you. So excited. We're going to do that unboxing here in a minute. But um, I didn't do Project Keepers. If you have been waiting for a Project Keeper, you are in luck. Because no matter whether I find a table today or I get the sewing machine cabinet out of my car, a six foot table is getting brought into this room, opened up, and the sewing machine is coming out because June 15th, so that is 12 short days from today, there will be a Project Keeper release. So put it on your calendar, June 15th at 1 p.m. on my website, I will have Project Keepers. How many? I don't know yet. We'll just see how many, but I have two buckets of vintage stitching as well as a little bit of fabric that I can make into project keepers. And you guys are so sweet and you're looking for them and I want to help you and give them to you because I just love the organization of them too. And so I've got a collection coming on June 15th. Don't know how big. If you want little sneak peeks, they will start coming. I might show you a sneak peek next Friday if I have some here on YouTube, but otherwise, Instagram is always a great place to follow along and see what I'm working on. Okay, I do have a video giveaway for today. A day, get, yeah. So when you're unpacking a studio, so I was in that studio space for five years. And so there was a lot of things in nooks and crannies and I've been making and doing markets and things. And so anyway, the good news is, lots of good news, but the good news that I'm sharing today is that I found, you find things that you didn't know you had. Cause you had little nooks and crannies and I found things. And these are things that I would sell at an artisan market or a, a, sh a holiday show. And maybe now I don't do that product anymore, but I have one or two left. And But you can't really just have one or two at a show. So anyway, it ends up into the abyss of... So I found these things. So what I've decided is now I have a drawer. I have one drawer system. But one drawer over there is video giveaways. I thought, what am I going to do with this 
odd one thing or this odd other thing. And I was like, this is perfect. Perfect giveaways. I want to show my love back to you guys and thank you for your support and your sweet comments. Oh my goodness, I love them. Some of you guys just reached out to me on Instagram saying hi, wishing you well, we miss you, all that. Every day I got one of those, I was just touched. Thank you so much. And so I decided, you know, what am I going to do? I want to give you guys back. So we're just going to, we're just going to have giveaways. Like, I don't know whether they're going to be every week or what, but I was like, this is the perfect way for me just to give back to you. And it's fun. One of a kind items made by Tiger Lily. Today is not one of a kind. It's three of a kind. Cause I had three of these left that I found and I was like, these would be perfect. So what they are, let me show you this. The, there's three. They're all a little unique, but they were wristlets, little wristlet purses. So you can keep it as just a wristlet and use it to, I don't know if your phone, I, my phone is my thing. So otherwise I'd stick my phone in there and see, or you could use it for a flaw. You could put your floss in here, your scissors, your cords. You could just throw it in the bottom of your purse as a little incidental bag, you know, chapstick, lipstick, masks. I don't know what you need, but it's a, it's a little cute little handmade wristlet, fully lined, super adorable. Um, so I've got three of those and I was like, you know what? Welcome back. It's June 3rd. We're going to give away three of them. So to enter in to win one of these, I can't wait to share. I hope you love them. Um, we're going to, you need to like, subscribe, and you need to comment. And the comment that you need to use today is going to be bag. I would use a fancier word, but I wouldn't want you to put a space with the word wristlet or a dash or anything because bag. The word is bag. So use the word bag in your comments and you will be entered in to win one of these wristlet purses things, but it's a bag. It's a zipper bag. Um, so I hope that's fun. I hope you're excited to win. Um, and that's the giveaway for today. So now, last but not least, well, this might be not so bonkers one. We're going to do, let me cover up my address, my Arville unboxing. Now, what I should do is turn the camera around and show you guys exactly we're going to do that. I don't know how, because like I said, I don't have a tabletop set up in here, but we're going to do that. Okay, hold on. All right, so I've got you flipped around. Like I said, no table, but um, we're using one of my old studio stools. This was a granny, what was that? What are these blocks called? I totally forgot. But my great grandmother, this is an antique quilt that sits on a shelf. Um, but it, it just got unpacked. So I thought it was a good backup drop. Have a slice of the RFL World, the Serial Quilters Starter Pack. Welcome to the 2022 family with love from RFL. Oh, I'm excited. Oh my goodness. I didn't get that. Could you try? All right, let's see. Oh, I need to find a place to put this stuff. All right, let's see what we've got. And I think what's interesting, so the Artful Artisans, there are 40 people that were selected here during, for the year, and from all over the world. It's crazy. And so I will link down below the blog you can go choose for RFL to follow along to see what's what, but you can go on and see who does what. So two fantastic cones. So this is a 50 weight cotton Mako. I'm assuming this is, this is also Mako 90, this is 40 weight. So we've got a 40 weight and a 50 weight. That's fun. And I think what's neat is every maker got a different kit. So they got one, seven flosses. So the ones on the wooden, as the stitchers know, the ones on the woodens are actually six stranded RFL flosses. So we're gonna see, we're gonna dig into this one and this brown one, I think. You know what, we're gonna learn together what this is, floss. 
So it says right here, floss 18 yards. So there's one with floss and there's wool and there's cotton and there's, I'm not even showing you, but that's what's in here. Look at those yummy, look at that variegated. Oh, and then oh, there's more. Then we've got one of those, it's like the DMC color card I sh that we had on a giveaway. Oh my gosh, the RFL color card. This is going to be crazy and so helpful in figuring out. So here we go right here. Here we are, Stitcher friends. There's floss. So it will tell you the colors and it's the actual thread, which is great for when we're going to be doing color conversions all year long. And look at these variegations. Oh my gosh. Wow. <gasps> Who sees this? Orange and purple. Any ideas what I'm thinking? I know you do. Oh, but I love these ones that are like um, variegated pinks and reds. It, it's like a hand-dyed floss, but not. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have so much fun with this. So it's gonna tell you this is the color card. Super awesome. Oh, oh okay. So this is explaining the different products that they offer. We've got the cotton 12 weight, 28 weight, 48, 40 weight, 50 weight, 80 weight, wool and floss. And it tells you like the dimensions and the what you use them for, hand piecing, applique, single stitch, quilting, stitches, cone, all Beautiful, 100% cotton from Italy. <gasps> and then the, whoa, this, you can get this cute little, um, they sell these little tubs that are perfect, that perfectly hold an RFL cone, the mini cones. Oh my goodness, look at those colors. So yummy. Let me get the labels out of the way. This was one of the, like that pink I was talking about. It's variegated. This is 50 weight. So I think we're going to learn together, but the orange, it's 50 weight. What's the green? 40 weight. And then there's red, which is, I'm guessing, 12 weight. And then gray. So they gave a 30 weight. So they gave, and this is probably the, like filament of invisible floss. So they gave me a, fantastic assortment of colors and thicknesses to stitch along with you guys. So that was so fun. So, oh my gosh, that unboxing was fantastic. I can't wait to start the RFL Artisan Adventure. I'm still learning and trying to figure out what this really means. I don't even know, but follow along on Instagram. Like I told you guys, all the details are, are there. So I'm excited. Thanks for coming back to my floss tube. Like I said, I'm hoping to come back every Friday, get back on a reg regular schedule. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see more. I'd love for you to subscribe and, and enjoy me here on fun. But we've just got lots going on. So until next week, friends, happy stitching.